Hello people, in this video we take up different ways of data representation. Why do we need different ways to represent data? Actually in binary all the data that we want to represent or transmit, we have only two possible symbols to do that which are 0 and 1. So any number we want to transmit, we have to transmit using 0 and 1. May it be positive or negative. Now the problem is, how do you represent plus 5 and minus 5 differently when you have only one symbol to uh, transmit both, right? You have only 1 and 0 to represent both. So we have two types of representation. One is magnitude representation. Magnitude representation only represents the magnitude of the number. It can only tell you whether the number is positive and or negative and its magnitude. And uh, we've already learnt about the complements, right? The 1's complement, 2's complement, that is R's complement or R minus 1's complement. That is another way of representation of a number, right? That is known as complement representation. Uh, let us just look one by one at all of these. See, magnitude representation. In magnitude representation, there are two ways to represent. One is unsigned magnitude, which can only be used for positive numbers unsigned magnitude only used for positive numbers that is it does not have any sign bit right then there is a sign magnitude representation in this you can represent both positive and negative numbers because we have included a sign bit okay what is a sign bit you you include a one for a negative number as the msb or you include zero at the MSB for a positive number. Fine. Uh, this look at the examples. Suppose you have to represent plus 5. You know that 5 is written as 101 in binary. So 101 is the unsigned magnitude representation of plus 5. And since we can only represent positive numbers, there is no representation for minus 5 in unsigned magnitude representation, right? Then if you have to represent them in sign magnitude representation for plus we are putting a 0 for minus we are putting a 1 magnitude is same magnitude is same in both the cases <laughs> then we come to complement representation you already seen uh, how to take complements how to find out r's complement r minus 1's complement right so if we have to uh, represent plus 5c now you have to understand the main point the point here is for positive number for any positive number in binary you take any kind of representation of these four ones complement twos complement unsigned sign you take any kind of representation the number is going to be same okay it's going to be same in all the four representations we need all these representations for negative numbers only different representations will be different only for a negative number for positive numbers all the four representations are going to be same okay so you may get the doubt then why did we study to find out r's complement r minus one's complement of positive numbers that was only to learn how you find r's complement or r minus one complement oh we, you have to use it only for negative numbers now look at the example here, minus 5 in unsigned magnitude cannot be represented, only positive numbers can be represented. In sign magnitude you put a sign bit, this is known as sign bit, this MSB is known as sign bit. 1 is for negative numbers, so if you write 1101, this is for sign bit, this means the number is negative and 101 tells its magnitude. Now we look at 1's complement, so you know how you find the 1's complement, right? This is the normal binary representation. For 1's complement, you complement each bit. Also, you know how to find 2's complement. You add 1 to this. So, you get the 2's complement. Fine. Okay. So, these are the 4 ways of representation of numbers. Now, just uh, let us look one by one at all of these and the possible ranges. You may get questions on the ranges of these type of representations. So, first we take up unsigned magnitude. We have already seen that no sign bit is present in unsigned magnitude representation. That is, we can only represent positive numbers. So, we will start with the example. Suppose we have 4 bit numbers. 
okay and i'm also writing their decimal equivalents fine suppose i have to represent zero i'll represent it as 0000 one would be 0001 and so on 15 would be 1111 so i can only represent positive numbers also i do not have a any sign bit so for this particular example just look at the range just look at the range in this particular example for four bits you are able to represent from 0 to 15 now i just generalize it for i'm generalizing it generalizing the range for n bits what can i write is range for n bits is going to be from 0 to to the power n minus 1 you can just check right if you are having two bits that is n is 2 you can represent only from 0 to 3 that's that fits in if you are having three bits you represent from 0 to 7 similarly right this is a general expression for range for n bits so this is all about unsigned magnitude since we are not able to represent negative numbers we are starting from 0 right now let us look at sign magnitude representation so already we have uh, we know that we have seen that in sign magnitude representation we can represent both positive and negative numbers both can be represented also one thing that you can note here is positive numbers are represented as normal binary are represented as normal binary with msb 0 fine you know this right with them is we zero okay so if you are having positive numbers positive numbers will be represented as normally binary we've seen that right plus 5 is going to be represented as 0101 only the sign bit is going to come otherwise as you represented normal binary representation you know right so you do the same thing just add one msb zero for positive numbers and one for negative numbers so similarly negative numbers are represented as normal binary with msb 1 this is going to be the only difference in sign magnitude representation okay we going to uh, take one examples also suppose you have to uh, write the sign magnitudes for the given decimals okay we taking some examples you got plus 0 So you write it as zero 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 plus one. You'll write it as zero 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 one plus two would be zero zero one zero, so on. Now, uh, okay. Suppose you get minus zero. You can do it for all the positive numbers, right? So I'm leaving it here. Now you get minus zero. This you'll represent as one zero zero zero. So. Maybe you are able to guess the problem with this kind of representation. Otherwise, we'll take it. Don't worry. One zero zero one. Okay, fine. And so on. It will go on. Now, what is the problem here? See, just look at zero. You know that there is only one zero. Plus zero and minus zero are not. different for us they are same right but what are we getting in sign magnitude representation we are getting two different representation for the same number for the same zero you are getting 0000 and 100 which is wrong this is wrong because we are getting two representation for zero so this is a drawback of sign magnitude representation okay and uh, if you look at the range range for the given example what is going to be the range you are able to represent from minus 7 to plus 7 in addition to unsigned magnitude we have also considered negative numbers here so we've got the range from minus 7 to plus 7 now try to generalize this i try to generalize and find the range for n bits what's going to be the range for n bits It is going to be minus two to the power n minus one minus one to two to the power n minus one minus one. Okay, why has this happened now? 
why is this range different from unsigned magnitude representation because in unsigned magnitude representation all the bits were used to represent magnitude only if you are having n bits all the n bits are going to be used for representing magnitude only here one bit is consumed to represent the sign one bit is used to represent plus or minus that is why here you are getting this this term right you are you have to subtract one bit fine uh, else everything you get right so it's easy okay uh, what you can do is for uh, understanding it's important to know how these ranges have come what is the range but uh, also you can just try and uh, keep them in mind fine okay let's look at the next kind of representation next kind of representation is ones complement representation ones complement and you know that you can represent positive as well as negative numbers using this kind of representation now one thing uh, that you can see here is positive numbers okay so we've uh, seen this already but still you can write it again in every representation positive numbers are going to be represented as normal binary are going to be represented as normal binary with MSB zero, fine. So you know this. You know this in every representation, right? The representation of positive numbers is going to be same. It's going to be the same as normal binary representation with bin with MSB zero in unsigned ones complement, twos complement, and with no MSB in unsigned magnitude representation. Now there are some steps you can just uh, write them to represent a to represent a negative number suppose you've got a negative number and you want to represent it in ones complement representation so there are some steps just uh, write them first step would be write the positive number okay just ignore the sign of the number and write the positive number that is represent the only the magnitude of the number then second step would be ones complement it ones complement it you see for this purpose only we've learnt first how to find ones complement to twos complement okay so these are the two steps that you have to perform this is the same same uh, that you have done in finding ones complement okay uh, suppose we take an example suppose you have to represent plus 13 and minus 13 You have to represent both of them in ones complement representation. So you know what are we going to do for plus thirteen? You just represent thirteen as you do normally for binary, which is one one zero one, and then place a MSB zero against it. This is going to be the ones complement representation. What are you going to do for minus thirteen? First, you write thirteen, then you ones complement it. So just look here. You've already represented thirteen, right? You've already got it. So now what you have got to do is just once complement this representation. When you once complement, what is going to be the answer? What are you going to get? You get one zero zero one zero. So this is going to be the representation of minus thirteen. Okay. Uh, just look at one question. One question of this model. You are given that a number in ones complement is ones complement. Ones complement representation of a number is given. Ones complement of a number is one zero zero one. Okay, and what are they asking is, what is the equivalent decimal? They are asking for the equivalent decimal. So they have given you the ones complement representation, and they are asking for the equivalent decimal. So see, we have seen two steps to perform ones complement. Just keep on reversing them. What do you do? Take one zero zero one. In the second step, you did ones complement, right? Just reverse. Reverse. What is going to be the ones complement for this number zero one one zero? Since you've reversed it, this means you have to put a minus sign also. Fine. See you from the MSB also. You get this MSB is one. That means it. Would have been a negative number already, okay. And you know, zero one one zero is the binary representation of six. So what do you get? Minus six. 
minus 6 is going to be the answer. This is the decimal equivalent of given one's complement number. Uh, just try one more. Similar type of question. One's complement representation is given as 11001 and they are asking for equivalent decimal again. Just try. Just use the same steps. Since MSB is 1, you get that this is a negative number. So what do you do? You just perform the one's complement of the number, right? And since uh, you have performed one complement, since MSV is 1, this is going to be a negative number. Now what is the magnitude? 6. This is also minus 6. So what do you get? What is the point that we are trying to do uh, prove here is if you have to increase bits, if you have to extend the number of bits, you can repeat the sign bit as many times as you want. You up keep on appending ones in MSB. It would not affect the number. Okay. So, uh, you can just write it also. You can just uh, make some notes. Take down uh, two points. In ones and twos complement representation, in ones and twos complement representation, to extend number of bits, to extend number of bits, sign bit, sign bit is the MSB. You know this, right? Sign bit is copied. as additional bits as additional bits you've already seen this in the previous example it won't make a difference it's not going to make a difference okay so uh, and in unsigned magnitude you already know right in unsigned magnitude you know what do we do in unsigned magnitude if you have to uh, increase the number of bits, you're going to append zeros towards the msp that is not going to affect the magnitude we know this uh, okay, and in sign magnitude, suppose in sign magnitude, you need to extend the number of it. What are we going to do? We insert, we insert zeros between sign and magnitude bits. Insert zeros between sign and magnitude bits to extend the number of bits. Okay, why so? Why the difference? See, because in sign magnitude representation, only there is only one bit to represent the sign. Only MSB represents the sign and rest all of the bits in the representation, all of the bits in the number are going to represent the magnitude. So, if you copy the sign bit, if you copy the MSB, that is going to add to the magnitude of the number. We don't want that, right? We do not want to change the magnitude. So, what do we do? We are going to append some zeros. But if we append zeros towards the MSB, that is going to change the sign of the number. Suppose MSB was previously 1 and you appended 0 to increase the number of bits. Then somebody may conceive it as a positive number where it was originally a negative number. So where can we append the bits now? We can append them between the sign bit and the magnitude bit. Okay, in sign magnitude representation, you can append them between the sign bit and magnitude bits. But in 1's complement and 2's complement representation, that does not make a difference. Why? Because if you want to get the decimal equivalent back, first you are going to take the 1's complement or 2's complement of the number. That nullifies. That nullifies the bits you are appending, right? If you are appending, you keep on appending 1's at the MSB. If you take 1's complement, they are all going to be zeros. That would not make a difference. Okay, so these are the different ways to extend the number of bits in different representations. Okay, so in the next video, we we'll take up more of uh, 1's complement and 2's complement. Also, we we'll take up the different algebraic operations, the basically the operation of subtraction for which we study these types of representation. We take all of them in the next video.